My name is Ellie, I'm 24 years old and I have a type of asthma called allergic asthma. Now my diagnosis came about because when I was quite young I started to have um, lots of asthma attacks and then I was later diagnosed with allergic asthma. My asthma is triggered by kind of allergens in the air, so anything like cat hair, dog hair, candles, aerosols, diffusers, anything that is essentially designed to make the air smell nice, or pets. I take a combination inhaler, so instead of a blue inhaler and a brown inhaler, I just use the one, so it works as a preventer and a reliever. And that's kind of really made a difference to my asthma symptoms and how they're managed. Asthma and Lung UK, their information that they put out is so helpful. To be able to, to go on the website and get the information that you're looking for is, is a really fantastic resource. I try and go to the gym four times a week. Sometimes it ends up being two or three. The type of asthma I have, being allergic asthma, typically doesn't kind of impact my own ability to exercise per se. I do a type of exercise called calisthenics, so that is body weight training. And I found that a really good way to, to keep fit and healthy. Exercise, I find, gives me lots of benefits. I'd say the main one is mental health side of things, improved kind of confidence, learning new skills is also a nice thing to, to focus on that's low pressure, you know, it doesn't have the same kind of deadlines as work or university life. So it's a real kind of outlet for channeling your energies into something else. My advice to kind of any young people dealing with a lung condition or asthma specifically and wanting to exercise, I would say, you know, find something that you enjoy, you know, don't start comparing yourself to other people who perhaps don't have the lung condition and can kind of push a bit harder than you, you know, go at your own pace and, you know, set your own goals and as long as you enjoy what you're doing, that is the main thing as well.